What is up guys, another tip video today and I've decided that I'm going to do one of these every single Monday. So every Monday you know exactly what's going to be released. Now as it's August as well, that means there's another giveaway going on for two lots of $10 RP cards. Really simple to enter, you just need to click on the link down below, enter your name and you're in with a chance of winning the RP. So the two July winners have been chosen, your names are down in the description, make sure you answer your emails but let's just jump into the first tip. Okay, so the first tip is for Jace. Bonus points, by the way, if you get the Hammer Time reference. And it's actually two tips. God, you guys are spoiled getting two tips for the price of one, right? So the first tip is when you're in your cannon form, right, your ranged form, and you use your W, you have three really quick attacks, right? Well, this actually carries over into your Hammer form, your melee form. So if you walk up to an enemy in cannon form, right, you use your W, you then swap to your Hammer form, you jump on them, you get these three really quick attacks off, use your E, and it's actually a ton of burst damage. The other kind of plus of doing it this way is that when you're in your hammer form all your auto attacks restore mana per auto so that means that you're getting three times the mana back for doing it so the second tip for Jace was actually submitted by you guys last episode by Joey Z. I hope I'm saying your name right, but it's actually using your hammer form, your melee form to escape in the jungle. So once you have your Q and your E, then you can use this. You can knock jungle camps over the wall by using your E, and then you can use the Q to follow them and jump the wall. It's actually really good to escape people, especially when you're around top lane using the Grump. So the next tip is for Vayne, and actually it's a double whammy again, so you're going to be getting two tips instead of one. Now a lot of abilities, including Condemn, can have their animation cancelled if you start to use it and then you use Flash, so it changes the direction of it. In the clip you can see that I start to use my E, I then Flash and it changes the direction and shoots Yorick into the wall instead of just shooting him backwards. This is actually really good because it means that you have no time to react and also it looks pretty slick. So to pull this off, it's actually pretty simple, it just takes some practice. So you need to start using the ability, then immediately flash and that will cause it to change direction. Now the other thing is using your tumble as an auto attack reset by using it against a wall. So you can see in this clip, right, I auto attack, I then tumble and then I auto attack again for the three silver bolts procs. So there's nothing wrong with doing it like that, right? It does work after all, but this is just a better way of doing it. You're going to stand next to a wall, auto attack first, then tumble into the wall, which shortens the tumble animation time and gets that second attack off faster. And it just means you're going to do a lot more damage in a shorter space of time. So moving on to the final tip, it's going to be for Riven, and sorry lad, you're only getting one tip this time instead of two, and we're going to be looking at how using your E can animation cancel. So as you can see in all of these clips, right, it works with her Q and W best, and it also works with her ultimate a little bit as well, but when you use your E before one of these abilities, it takes away the cast time on them. So your Q, your W, and both activations of your ultimate, so when you use it and when you fire it off, all have a tiny cast animation at the very start, but when you use your E before it, it actually removes that cast time so you actually get the spell off quicker. You've been seeing on screen using before and with the E as well and it actually makes quite a big difference because animation cancelling is a big deal on Riven. So this tip might not seem like much but it would definitely increase your damage and make it a lot harder to dodge as well. Now remember the whole point of this series is I want you guys to get involved as well and share your tips. So if you have a tip and you think it's pretty cool then put it down in the comments and if I see it and I think wow that's kind of cool then I might even put it in one of my videos and I'll credit you as well. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe for more of these tip videos and I'll catch you in the next video.